All right, boys, Need for Speed Unbound. We're back with another engine build test video. Pause that. Look, man, the 180 is just a rocket. It's a, it's a good little car. It, it's not, you know, the best as far as like, you know, it has a little bit of understeer and it, you know, it's it favors the drift. So no matter how much you try to make a grip, it's still going to try to give out on you. Uh, but look, regardless, uh, this took a lot of testing. You got seven engines here, right? Let's see. First one trapped 192, 191, 189, 183, 188, So yeah, it came down to, uh, they were all close. Like they all performed really well. It came down to engine six and seven here. They were literally like one tenth of a second away from each other. Um, so I went ahead and went with, even though that says zero to 60 better, I don't know, they're pretty, hey look, flat six, six engine, 2.8 liter flat six. Throw that bad boy on. Let's go to parts here. I think everything's elite, elite. Elite, elite. I got elite dual turbos on this bad boy. Yeah, you could technically squeeze a little more, but it's like, eh, eh. It, it does pretty good. Elite nitrous, elite road suspension. I've got the pro brakes, elite grip tires. I am on the super clutch, five speed gearbox, elite differential grip drift. And as far as handling goes, I am on 60% grip, Steering sensitivity, you probably, you want it a little high. Don't go too crazy. Full high downforce, off and off. Now look, this thing, it's a rocket. It's It's been fast in every tier, it really has. Now this won't really keep up with some of the supercars that have, that, you know, that can hit like 200 in this tier. But um, Taxi, which he, he's usually the one that's been helping me test my builds lately. He, he has some really good builds himself. He tested his F40 against this and you'll see in the first race, like all the way until the end of the straight when we topped out, that's when he, he started catching. So we, and he makes really good builds. Like most of the time his builds rival mine or are, are, are slightly better, just swapping different parts and his F40 just couldn't catch me. Now in the later races where it was more like corner King and stuff, he was getting me because the F40 just. That thing handles like a beast compared to this, where it's just understeering and drifty. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, don't don't discount this thing, man. It's quick. It's a rocket. And then we did another one where he broke out his 180, and he had a different build. And I was getting him. I definitely get him off the line. And then for what I reason, I guess top end, he's got a little bit more top speed than me. And on the last lap of um, God, what is that? Lakeshore Express with the, the train. He blew past me. I guess he got a, a, a burst nitrous off me. Couldn't catch him after that. He was gone. So I don't know. But the cool thing is you you can take, you know, either the sixth or seventh engine because they both pretty much perform the same. I'm with the flat six and tweak parts a little bit and kind of figure it out and, and maybe put like worse tires on and get a little more power, you know, for, for top top end, like, you know, Sacrifice the clutch if you want. There's so many different ways to do this, but look, flat six. There you go. Uh, I'm going to throw some races against the F40 and the 180, and you guys know the drill. Subscribe, come back, check out our other builds, and uh, enjoy this car, man, because it's, it's quick. It's a nice little rocket build, but uh, enjoy the races.